Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to do a video on how to plug a tire and uh, I did I found this while doing the oil change on my wife's car and I remember her telling me that this tire always seemed to go flat so I inspected all the tires and lucky enough this was right up top for me to see so you can do this either on the vehicle or off the vehicle whichever one's easier for you depending on the situation as well but we're gonna go into how to install a plug kit. And while you're at it, if you're doing this, you might as well check the lug nut torque and uh, inspect all your tires. But let's get into the kit that I'm gonna be using to plug this and uh, how to install it. Okay, YouTubers, so this is basically going to be everything that you're gonna need. The main thing being the tire plug kit. Uh, you can get a lot of different ones. I have everything here linked down in the description. Uh, if you're interested in ordering it online. But other than that, you can get this tire plug kit at basically any auto parts store. So I always get the one with the two T handles. It's, I believe it's better than the one with the single uh, two in one T handle. But then again, you're gonna need a pair of pliers in order to remove the nail or screw or whatever is embedded in your tire. A knife to shave off the plug. I got a tread depth reader here because while I'm at it, I might as well check all the tread depth on all the tires. I have a paint marker to mark where the hole is so I don't lose it after removing the screw. Some soapy water uh, to find the air leak if I, you know, do lose it. And then an air compressor that I always keep in my wife's car uh, along with a battery jumper and everything like that. So this is everything that you'll need to do. and. Let's get into uh, actually removing everything and plugging this tire. Okay, so first thing is to go ahead and open your packaging. You'll have the plugs. Some kits will include the rubber cement, some won't. Then you get your two T handles. And that's it. It's good for cars and trucks. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is I always mark where the hole is so when I remove this I don't lose it so there it is and then the soapy water will not only be in order to help me find the hole if I do lose it but after I've plugged it I can spray it and make sure that there's no air leaking out and the reason I suggest getting the kit that has the two T handles is because you can have your plug ready to insert uh, right after you uh, prep the hole so this is basically just going in and opening up the hole and uh, creating a surface for the plug to attach to or adhere to. I wanna remember to take one of my plugs and get this prepped up because you want the tire to still have as much air pressure in it as possible. It just makes it a little bit easier to plug. And these are gonna be a little sticky. So go ahead and feed this through your eyelet and you're gonna pull it about halfway through where it's even on both sides. Then you'll take your rubber cement, apply it to the plug. Go ahead and just set that down for now. And now we're going to remove the screw. A little self tapper and go ahead and ream it and then take your plug there you go the one thing you don't want to do is push the plug in all the way. As you can see here, I still have one end here and one end here. And then after you're done, you can go through. And as you can tell, it takes some force, depending on the size of the hole. Uh, that's why this helps out. And just go ahead and shave off what's left. It's not absolutely necessary because it is a sticky compound. And as you drive, it will kind of smush it into the tread and everything. But after that's done, you just take your soapy water, spray it on there and look for some bubbles. Yep. 
and it seems to be holding fine. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and use my portable air compressor, pump up the tire to the specified uh, PSI, and wait a little while and see if it holds pressure. So that's it. Very simple. Uh, $10 fix. Great to keep in your car on the side of the road or anything like that. Now, while you're at this, like I said, you want to check your lug nut uh, torque, but you can also get one of these. I have this link down in the description. This is a tread depth checker or gauge and uh, your tire depth or your tread depth should be no less than 230 seconds. And that's actually very, very uh, low. It's not very much tread whatsoever. That's going to be basically where Lincoln's head is from the top of the penny to Lincoln's head. That is two. Uh, 30 seconds and here is 230 seconds so as you can see you can either get one of these gauges or if you have a penny on you you always just check sit down next to the tire and make sure that you can't see all of Lincoln's head or you get one of these I believe they run like three dollars so either way very nice tools to keep in your car and that that's it. I really hope you guys found this helpful and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.